Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up TikTok Business Center. Now, don't get it confused with TikTok Seller Center or your regular TikTok. I'm going to explain it as best as I can, but basically, the regular TikTok is a place where you will want to try to seek entertainment or maybe search for some inspiration for a creative idea. TikTok Seller Center is where you can manage all of your shop if you have a TikTok shop, all of your order, all of your delivery, all of your product, etc. Meanwhile, TikTok Business Center is going to be the one that allows you to manage your promotion, your marketing tools, as well as your ads. So with TikTok Business Center, you will be able to create a several channel that allows you to create and manage your promotional or your marketing activities. Now we're going to start by creating our account on TikTok Business Center. So go to business.tiktok.com and go ahead and click on sign up. I would recommend to you to not use your personal TikTok account because one of the reasons that tends to happen is that once you create your ads and maybe something happens, and the worst case is you get banned. There are possibilities that your account will get banned altogether. And you wouldn't want your personal account or all of the account that you've been working hard on to be gone in just one day. So I would really, really recommend you to create a separate account. Either it's for your personal TikTok account, your TikTok ship account, as well as TikTok business account. So here I'm just going to go ahead and add my email as well as my password. All right, now that I got my email verifications done, we can start working on our TikTok Business Center account. So first, they're going to ask us about what kind of things that we do. So the first question is, which best describe you or your business? So let's say that I am an advertiser, so I manage my own business. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose my country. All right, so I added my region, the company name, time zone, as well as the currency. And the currency is important because if you're going to create some campaign or some ads, at some point you will need to create some transactions. So make sure that you choose the right currency for your account. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And now we will be able to manage our marketing or our ads activity through this dashboard right here. So let's take a look at what we'll be able to see. First things first, on the left side of the screen, we'll be able to take a look at the members as well as partners that we can have on our business center. So let's say that at some point you are going to work together with another brand, you can invite that brand to be a part of your TikTok business center so that both of you will be able to manage the campaigns that both of you are running on at the same time. And you can also add partner on TikTok business center. And then if you take a look at the assets, you'll be able to see the audience, catalog, pixels, TikTok account, as well as advertisers account. Now you can actually create more than one advertiser's account. And one of the reason is because again, let's say that at the first question, you answer that you are actually an agency that runs business, that runs ads for other people's businesses. In order to avoid complete bend, again, if the worst case happens in which somehow you accidentally create some violations through your ads and your account needs to be bent, you will not end up losing everything, but you might only lose one of that advertiser's account that you created. So it's very important to create multiple advertiser's account for different campaigns because let's say that this is your first time creating your campaign you can also manage your campaigns easier through different account let's say that you're going to create some samples on your campaign maybe you have different age range for one campaign to another separating them it's going to make it super easier for you to manage maintain and take a look at the conversion 
from that specific campaign. So let's try and create one for now. First, I'm going to select an industry. Let's say it's going to be media and content creation. And I'm going to choose audio and video productions for now. And I'm going to be the one responsible for this account. So I'm going to go ahead and add the name and the email. I'm just going to use the business email. And then you can go ahead and add your phone number and then submit. Now, if you already knew someone who already have an ad account and you would like to request an access from that person, you can go ahead and click on request access right here and choose whether you want to be the admin, the operator or the analyst. But for today, we're just going to go ahead and create a new ad account. So go ahead and click on create new. And I'm just going to name this account as moon ads and you can add your company websites if you want to i'm just going to leave that one blank for now and then for the time zone i'm just going to choose the same one with my own time zone then go ahead and continue and you can add a contact name for the person who's responsible for this account. Let's say that you already have a team and you would like to assign a certain ads account to a certain person. This part right here is going to be very, very important. But if you're still going to be the one who handle all of the account by yourself, you can just skip this part. All right. Now you got one advertiser account created and if you would like to create another account for another campaign you can always go ahead and click at another advertiser's account and then repeat the steps by clicking create new add up your name and all of the other details like what we've just run through earlier and now once that you got your ad account you can assign a new member if you want to or you can also link this to a new asset which is pixels but we're just going to skip this for now but i do want to go ahead and click on ads manager to show you what you can do through there so here on ads managers you can actually start and create your ads so here there is a create your first ads option and we can go ahead and start creating our ads through there now, the first thing they're going to ask you is going to be the objective of your ads. So whether you want to increase awareness or maybe you want to focus on considerations, conversions, or whatever it is that you will want to choose. So let's say that I'm going to focus on video views for now. So I'm going to choose this one. And then you can name the campaign and add your budget. You can set the campaign budget manually or you can also turn on the campaign's budget optimizations which will automatically optimize your budget allocations. You'll have some of your bid strategy and optimizations goal. If you're still on the research and development stage, you can definitely try to use both ways. Remember that we can actually do it in different ads account. So go ahead and try it out so that you will know which one works the best for you so the minimum budget for the daily budget is going to be 500 thousands rupiah for now you can also set a lifetime budget if you want so let's say my lifetime budget is going to be 500 thousand then go ahead and click on continue then you can edit the ad group name in case you would want to search for it later on i'm just going to leave it as it is for the sake of this tutorial and then you can actually edit the placement if you want and then here you can start and settings on your audience targeting so if you already have a target market on your mind you can actually pour it out over here so for example you want the location to be not just in your local area but you want to spread your wings to others country you can go ahead and choose on the country you want to reach through these ads and then let's say that you want this ad to focus on female with the age of 18 to 24 who can 
speaks in whatever language you can set to several language if you want to i'm just going to choose all for now and then you can choose the spending power and there are some other settings that you can set in order to specify the audience target that you can reach through this app once you're done with all of that you can go ahead and click on continue and then add your content through here and once you get your ads published you can always go back to your tiktok business centers and then take a look at how your ads is going through there and that's basically it that is how you can set up and use TikTok Business Center for your marketing tools as well as for your business in general. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.